Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here again from TN Blast. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to do local SEO for multiple locations. So I have a few clients that have more than one location. So I wanna use this video to kind of go over what I do for that, how to rank in different states, um, and kind of explain like my, my thought process as I go through this. So this is the title of the slide. I wanna spend a little bit of time going over this. The metrics I care most about is SOLV. So I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit of what that means. SOLV stands for share of local voice. That means it's how often in the heat map you show up in positions one, two, or three. That's actually what's gonna be on page one of Google. So anything that's past position three, if you're position four or five, you're not on page one. So the visibility drops off completely. Most people only click on the first few results they see on page one. So you really wanna get into the, as high as you can with the share of local voice. Um, that's the metric that I care most about with all of my clients. That's the one that, um, I go over as like a KPI when we're looking at local SEO. And then of course and below is on December 8th uh, heat map. And then on the right is another heat map, same location, but obviously more green that's taking place. So if you wanna learn more about me, you can pause the video, but let's continue. So high level summary. So let me move this screen over. I focus on Google, my business. I use local Falcon for heat maps. I use SEM rush for keyword tracking from a local level. Uh, Bing places for business. I can also track that within SEM rush, but most of the time I only keep it at Google. Apple, you can do Apple Business Connect. You just want to have another NAP listing, so name, address, phone number. Uh, anyone that uses Apple Maps, uh, basically that's how your business will show. And then finally, uh, traditional website SEO. So things like landing pages, title tags, header tags, um, optimized images, internal links, all that stuff. A key is having a dedicated landing page for each location. Uh, a lot of times people reach out to me, they have it as like one page with a lot of lists of every location that they offer. Um, my methodology is to split them all out into its own page. Results, so I'm not gonna just bury the lead here, I'm gonna go right into it. So you can see this is one location, it's uh, New Jersey. That improved by uh, almost 21% from when we started in the share of local voice. Uh, next, this is the heat map for that same location, so December 8th through the 11th, so a lot more green taking place. Location number two, New Jersey. Now, I didn't do an updated um, share of local voice because we're still at 100%. We went from 72% to 100%, which means that for the grid of 7x7 in an 8-mile radius, they are in the top three. And you can see what that looks like. So again, left-hand side, right-hand side, a lot more green, all on page one. Location is Massachusetts. This one improved as well from 30% all the way up to 45%. You guys understand left and right december 8th through the um uh march 11th so a few months with that indiana same thing that improved um slightly but still it's another location that has improved a little bit it's harder to see with this map but um still nonetheless um another percentage in the top three arizona improved as well and this is a new one um, we went from 50% to 51.85%. And this is a very early thing that we've been working on. So we started on February 16th and now it's March 11th. So just a month in, um, actually slightly less, uh, but still uh, improvement. Another Arizona location, 12% improvement and uh, share of local voice. And you can see the heat map left and right, December 8th through March 11th. Location Ohio, that improved as well. Heat map left and right. So summary, what we did, so I say what we did because when I work with my clients, it's actually a very collaborative effort. Um, usually I will suggest changes and then either I will make them myself or they will make some of these changes on their own. This particular client I have, um, they handle some of these changes. So it's kind of a, it's a, it's a real collaboration of things that I change and the things that they do. So things we did. Display the, uh, display the address on every location. So that's on every Google My Business account. We display the location. I've seen people reach out to me and they only have a service area. Having your location verified is a, is a real ranking factor. It also gives more trust to users in Google as well. Um, so we did that. Every location has the address shown and it's verified. Next, added unique descriptions for each location. So before, when they reached out to me back in um, September of 2023, every Google My Business listing essentially had the same description, copy and paste it. I, and they use um, a third party software basically just to, you, you update one, you just sync it across the rest. Um, we actually changed that. We made each one, to, uh, each one unique to their location and the services that they provide. Third, primary and secondary categories. Now I use Local Falcon for this. So I do a competitor um, scan of who is ranking in the radius of uh, for their target keywords. They're all non-brand. And we change the primary categories and secondary uh, categories to be uh, more competitive. Another thing is that we updated photos. So they have uh, the ability to take photos on location. And that's actually really key. Um, a lot of times, 
What I've noticed is that some people reach out to me, they only have stock photos for their Google My Business. They, on the other hand, are able to update photos on a monthly basis. It's a freshness factor, uh, gives more uh, trust to, uh, to users as well. Uh, and it seems to be working for us. Uh, by the way, we don't do any geo tag uh, with that. However, there may or may not be a factor with that. So somebody, let's say out in Arizona who takes a photo and then uploads it, um, whether or not Google strips that meta information away from their location, it's, it's a little unclear. But I just want to make that point that I'm not taking the photos and then adding geotags to it. So simply, we're just uploading uh, fresh photos. Updated the services with information of each uh, service that they provide. Then we create a product listing for every service as well. So service and products are two different things. Services are just listed off. Products is a carousel. So people can actually click on, learn more, and then go directly to that page. Um, one thing that was not shown on any of their locations initially was their social media icons. This is something that I actually pushed because it... Um, it makes your knowledge panel even bigger. So it actually pushed their competitors down and probably improved their click-through rate and therefore helped with uh, some indirect ranking factors as well. Even if, let's say we didn't improve in a rank, we just got a better click-through rate because we have a bigger profile. We have a dedicated landing page for every location that we link out to. Uh, this is again something that was a little different before it was a generic homepage link. Now we have a dedicated landing page on the website to link out to. Uh, perform competitor uh, research, looking for gaps in our rankings. So. Again, I use Local Falcon with this. I spend a lot of time looking at the competitor um, view for every location, and I try to get an understanding of, you know, if we drop in share of local voice, what we can do. And I know it's a lot of times when we make changes, then our competitors make changes, and it's kind of like a seesaw battle. Um, but that's a big part of kind of what we're doing. And then finally, another thing is getting reviews, new reviews, and also responding to them directly. So reviews do matter. Um, and also, if you're the owner, if you can respond directly to the reviews, it gives more trust signals to uh, to users and also to uh, Google as well that you're an active profile. Um, one thing also that we do here, I didn't list this off, but I wanted to make this point. So you can have updates. Um, updates are simply anything that's new going on with your business. So we do that as well. On a weekly basis, we do about two posts. Um, you know, there's like a blog post or some PSA or something new for that direct location. Bing. Apple and website optimization. So, you know, 90% of the focus is always going to be on Google, but there's some other things that I still do from a local standpoint each month. So Bing is primarily with Bing places for business. So I take the changes from Google and I sync them directly into Bing. Now about 85% of what Google has syncs into Bing, but not everything. So some things that don't is um, some of the service areas did not uh, some of the photos did not, and even uh, um, some of the description, I think I think it's actually bigger in Bing. So we actually utilize that space to our advantage. Apple, we verified our location across the board. It helps with NAP, name, address, and phone number. Um, right now, results are really low when it comes to Apple. Um, I've been saying this now all year, that I think that the platform's gonna get better in the next few months. And when I say better, I just mean more uh, actionable what you can do from like a, an optimization standpoint, also from a tracking standpoint, just so you can get an idea of what you can do better. Uh, right now, it's it's so small that we don't really talk too much about it, but we at least have, we at least have it set up. Um, and of course, we do the photos, descriptions, offers, everything like that. Now, from the website, this is actually a big part of the local SEO strategy. So Google Map Pack is, is critical and then Bing and then Apple, but the website also ranks too. So we create a dedicated landing page for every location uh, that actually helps them with our traditional rank in Google and Bing. So what happens is that if you um, were to Google or to Bing, uh, the services that they provide, you get both a map pack listing and you also get their organic listing as well on page one. For a lot of their phrases, it's actually how the traffic has grown so much. Um, so we have two opportunities right there to get somebody to, um, to interact with the business. Uh, we do things like um, title tags, meta name descriptions, images, uh, header, uh, internal links. Uh, we've actually uh, have experimented with um, looking into additional schema markup that you could do as well for the locations to give even more context to Google and Bing. Exactly, this is the location and there's all the metadata behind it. Now, one thing we don't do is, is video, but it's something that I have been exploring on my own website around uh, video schema markup for a uh, location specific. So it's something that I've thought about with, with this particular client, but even other clients I have too, is that if we can have a video dedicated to that location, then you can mark it up with a schema markup uh, and it can be a, a uh, deciding factor for Google and Bing to rank you a little bit higher. Final thoughts with local SEO. So for my clients, typically they see results within three to six months. So all those heat maps I showed basically were December through March. 
um, that's usually where the hockey stick effect happens and like the calls increase and the website clicks and everything else like that. So typically three to six months, some see it a little bit sooner. It all depends on if you have, you know, a couple things like a verified address, if you have um, the ability to make changes on your website, uh, photos, reviews, everything. So there's a lot of factors to go into it, but typically three to six months. Um, when I work with clients, I work on two different strategies. So both is the, um, the map pack for Google and Bing and also for Apple. And then the second is the traditional website. So I look at it from two angles. For a very new client, uh, let's say like you're a contractor who just began working with me and you, you, your website's less than two months old, the map pack for you is gonna be a lot more effective. Uh, whether for this client though, they're, like they're more established, we're able to kind of do both at the same time, which is the map pack and also the website to kind of get them both to rank. But typically ranks occur faster for the map than they will traditional rankings. Changes that I do are not immediate. So I, I said three to six months, but a lot of times the changes that I do, content tweaks and internal links and everything else like that, um, they don't they don't always grow up. So what I mean by that is that, you know, the ranks, the the graph or even the heat map is just not a continuous growth. There's always peaks and valleys that's very much affected. I look at it from like an average rank and if we're improving the entire strategy and drug more traffic, that's all that matters. Displaying the business address is critical. So things that they do is that now that Google and Bing and Apple showcasing each address, but then they actually have it on those dedicated landing pages. They they showcase the address, the full address, the phone number, everything like that to get in contact. So it's a huge signal to Google and Bing um, that you are a local business. Uh, continuous changes are, are critical. So some clients will reach out or some potential clients will reach out to me and say basically, can I do this for one or two months and then just kind of see where it goes um, or, or just kind of stop? And the thing is you can, you can certainly do that, but um, most of my clients I have are in very competitive fields where if you don't make updates or you don't tweak the description or add photos, get reviews or anything else like that. Um, typically the ranks can last, but then they start to dip and if you don't have anyone that's actually looking into it on a, on a pretty, you know, fairly regular basis, you start to drop a lot. Uh, and then you kind of have to work back, you know, that three to six month range, as I said, it's a lot easier to kind of maintain than it is to kind of crawl uh, and, and claw your way back. So I always recommend, um, you know, just keeping an eye on this because if it's working, you want to maintain that as, as long as you can. Uh, getting listed on local directories. Now that's critical uh, for this particular client I have. They, they are listed on relevant directories and also third party websites too. Um, but even for any local client that I have, I always focus on local directories. How do we get listed there? NAP is very critical. Finally, local SEO is about improving the non-brand terms. However, my best clients that I have are also doing things to improve their brand search. This particular client goes to events. They have a robust social media strategy, email marketing strategy. They're out there building out their brand name. So it's very critical because Google and Bing are going to look at these things and, and you know get an idea of exactly if, uh, you know, roughly speaking, is this a true brand? It, it's it's a little mix of how they would know that, but a true brand would be you know doing exactly what they're doing, which is doing all different ways to you know grow their business and growing their brand traffic and direct people, you know, to their website from you know any events that they go to. So there's a lot of things that are happening that they're doing, they're certainly helping uh, drive their ranks. So that's it in a summary. That's kind of what I do uh, for. Uh, uh, local clients that have multiple locations. So if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out and as always have a good rest of your day.